What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats. Today we're gonna be starting a new series called Odd Genres. And basically we're just gonna be mixing genres that don't necessarily go together. That being said, let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So one tip I can give, cause I haven't made a video on how to mix styles yet. So I can make one if people want it. Um, but just take one to two elements from one style. So in this case, I took the sound selection from trance uh, music and maybe like the, I wouldn't say the rhythms necessarily, but like the tempo. Um, and then I would kind of mix that in with like trap drums, you know, stuff like that. So it's fairly simple. Um, let's go and we'll grab in a scale. Now I think we'll do a major to kind of match that vibe, like that anthem vibe. We'll do an A major because it's the simplest one. Everyone kind of knows. Well, I guess it's not the simplest, but it's a common. So um, here's a sound, right? Very like EDM-ish electric. Uh, so for this, I think starting simple with each melody is the key here so we don't overdo things. So I think what we can do is start with a dyad. Matter of fact, we can do a chord and then you can just fill in the in-betweens. All right, so we're gonna use these notes across the whole thing. All right, um, so let's come up with a bass line. Now, I don't want this to be too happy, right? Because we want to make it a trap. So maybe we can pull these up. So maybe we do something like this. Give it a little bit of rhythm. Just like so. And I'm gonna control L real quick. And I'm gonna just stretch these across. This should work because it's in harmony, so it's not really that. Really that. And then copy that over and maybe we can take this E, pull that up. So I'm just cheating the system right now because I'm just using notes that already work, right? Let's pull this down. Okay, and one other thing that people forget is the rhythm. So how, so the rhythm of your drums, the rhythm of your me your melody will kind of determine the type of beat it is. Um, so I'm kind of obviously going with a trap style here because if we were to put an 808 in here, it would match up. So these are kind of the spots that your 808 would go. So it's kind of fitting within this. But if we were doing like a trance music style, the drums would kind of do like this. Like if we were to have a kick here, right? So we're not really going with that necessarily. But let's go ahead and move on. Actually, um, let's add some effects on this real quick uh, before we go so we can kind of get that core trance style. All right, so all I did for this, I just wanted to kind of get that gate. Now there's plenty of ways you can do it, um, but I just thought the easiest. So I had portal here and I just chose this little preset. And it's just a gate. It's really just a gate with some extra delay. So I'll show you what it does off. And that's pretty much all it is, right? Um, and then I just added some reverb. And then EQ. Now this is really important. This is the most important one. All this, you could get these effects other way, but this is very important. So you can shape the sound so your drums can shine. So this is the EQ I did here. I'll zoom in. And the reason why it's so harsh is so is because we have other sounds to use, right? We don't want to fill up the entire like melody section already when we have so many sounds. So I want to kind of shrink it down, contain it. But yeah, that is our effects for this. And let's move on to the next sound. Next up, I picked a more of a trap sound here. Um, so this little bell sound here, uh, and this should be pretty easy. We can literally copy this in here and just change some things up. So we can delete the top melody, we can pull this up and then, you know, whatever else we do here. So if we want to make a chord out of this, we can kind of find a note to use and then you can just kind of follow the same thing. Uh, probably let's make a chord up like that. Let's do it like this, right? Real simple stuff, right? It's not even that crazy. And then we can add a melody in here too. And I'm gonna do a one thirds. And if there's any beginners watching, you're like, oh man, this is too much. It's really not. If you notice, I'm not even look at this is a this this melody is trash. Look at this. There's nothing in between. It's very simple, right? And we just add an effect. And this is the same thing, right? It's literally just simple notes. And we're just gonna build it up. So let's do this A. 
do something like this and then maybe we can chop it down. Shift D. I'm gonna just let them leak over a bit. Let's see what that sounds like. Oops. Kind of want these offset a bit. Let me see. Okay, I like that. So let's move on to our next sound. Now I want to start adding more energy into it. So I have this sound once again here. Uh, it's the same sound as this one, um, except there's no effects. So uh, what we're going to do is once again, we're just going to copy this and I just want to create an anthem vibe. So I'm going to take this top part, shift D, and then we can just literally, uh, I guess we can stay at one thirds and see what that. Let's kind of make it a little bit shorter. I think that's perfectly fine all right that's good for now i might add effects i'm not sure i kind of want this to sound synthy so i don't know um but let's move on to the next sound now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add our counters in here so let's go in here all right um and then we can just kind of look at what we have already let me see I kind of want it to, I don't want it to overtake it. I just want it to be like in there to add depth. Um, try this. And let's take this one so we can create a, a second part. I'm gonna take this note and stem it off of this. like both of those actually so I'm gonna just I think I'm gonna put this over here and then put this one down here so I'm gonna just copy these over I'm gonna just go ahead and copy the actually let's just copy this right now okay I'm gonna just do it all here just like this perfect all right and that's the melody and i might add effects i don't know i kind of like it raw like this kind of match the style i'm gonna pan these other ways Okay, I think that's good. So let's go ahead and um, get to making the beat. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of our 808. Um, it's very simple. Now I like to solo my sounds. Uh, so this could fall apart, but if you're watching this video, it's probably at least sounded okay at the end. Um, but we're gonna take this bass line, copy it, paste it in here, and I'm gonna shift D. And then we can just do something like this. Just something fun. Let's pull it down. I'm gonna copy it over. And then we're just gonna copy this to our kick. Real simple stuff, Alt K, put it here. And then I just want to, I like to double my kicks like this. You don't have to do that. I like doing that personally. Um, and I'm gonna just put these kind of on slow. Just 
just to create more of a nice rhythm. All right, I like that. And I'm trying to think like, what else could I do to 808 to kind of make it, maybe we can, you know, let's break the rules a bit. Let's take this and let's add two 808s. What? And I want to see which one might match better. Okay, I like that one. It's kind of like punchy. And I guess we can just close that. Um, now what we can do, I'm gonna copy this here. And let's see. Of course, we don't want the kick playing here. And then what we can do is pull this down an octave so that the 808s won't mix or like clash, right? Oops, and we need to cut that. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. So broke the rules a little bit, but it is what it is. So I like that. That's the low end. Um, let's go ahead and throw the drums in. All right. So we are at the final where we do the drums. So this is where it all comes together. So um, I'm going to put our little rim here. So I thought a rim would be nice because a rim is a very light like, trap ish drum. Uh, so I just want to add that in. I'm going to right click fill each two. Or what does it say? Yeah. Fill or set the next bar. Uh, and then we can go in here. And then, of course, I soloed it because I don't like to ruin the end for myself. So um, let's. And you could mix trance drums in here, too, but I thought that would be the, it would make the video too long if I tried to like do that. So. Let's do it at 64 so it's not annoying. OK. Um, let's go throw some hats in here. Now, with this, I want to go fairly simple. I don't want to go like trap-ish hats entirely, but I kind of do want to make this a little harder. Let's chop it up like so. Oops. Just so we can know which one is which. And I'm going to add a little. Okay. Let's see if we can. Uh, we'll fill it up with something else. And we just want to build it up real slow, right? Just build it up because it's a new style. Well, no, I'm sure it exists somewhere, but, you know, we're trying to, like, try some new stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this. So I'm going to shift it. If you go over twice, you kind of get, like, a different little... Uh, here, I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. So I'm going to go over one, two... Actually, I think that might be too much. There we go. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna shrink this down. There we go. And then go ahead, set the next bar. And what we have a snare. This should be easy to snare. So we're going to do a chop one third step and I'm going to literally. And then we're just going to chop it like that. Okay, 
that's good enough for me. And then, let's see. Kind of want to add, I don't know what I can add here. Maybe if we pan it a bit, maybe it'll sound a little bit better. Let's see. Yep, that sounds way better. Okay, I think that is it. Honestly, I think that's good enough. Let me see. And then, obviously, we won't play everything all at the same time, like in a real like setting, but I'm going to just play it, so see what it sounds like. kind of like it is very odd but i, I kind of like it but that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed make sure you like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace